Happy learning! Today we're going to talk about a problem that I gave on my last linear algebra exam, and it stumped a few people, so I thought I'd work through the solution. So we have this function, it's a linear map, that sends 1, 0, 0 to the vector 1, negative 1, 0. It sends 0, 1, 0 to 1, 1, 0, and it sends 0, 0, 1 to 1, 0, 0. And the question asks, find a non-zero vector such that f of x equals zero. And I gave a hint, find the matrix for the linear transformation. Okay, so how would we solve this? Well, our information that was given, it tells us that the first elementary basis vector gets sent to one, negative one, zero. So that's the first column of the matrix of our transformation. Similarly, this is the second column of, our, of the matrix of our linear transformation, and this is the third column. So we have A, which is the matrix of our linear transformation, is the following matrix. And we want to find, we want to solve AX equals zero. Okay, so let's just, let's just work this through. So A times the matrix x1, x2, x3 is equal to the zero vector. Okay, and let's uh, multiply this out to see what this says. This first row of our matrix would be x1 plus x2 plus x3. And the next one would be negative x1 plus x2 and the bottom row would be zero. And this is equal to zero, zero, zero. Okay, and so for two vectors to be equal, each of their entries are equal to each other. So we have x1 plus x2 plus x3 equals zero, and we have negative x1 plus x2 equals zero, and then the last equation is just zero equals zero, which gives us no new information, but at least it means our system is consistent. Okay, um, so this second row gives us that x1 is equal to x2, and subbing that into this top equation, we get that 2x1 plus x3 is equal to zero, so x3 is equal to negative 2x1. Okay, so we have each of the variables described in terms of x1, so we can pick our favorite value for x1. I'll pick one. So we let x1 equal one, x2 is also equal to one, and x3 is equal to negative two. So the answer our question, f of the vector one, one, negative two, if we did it all correctly, should give us the zero vector. Okay, so verify that on your own, that we did it right. But not too bad. Uh, it's just a question that we haven't really seen before. All right, well, let me know if you're able to solve it. And yeah, we got a lot more linear algebra coming up, so I hope you enjoy these videos. See you later. Bye-bye.